97.5 WGC out of Shaz number one for hip hop and R&B. And it's a Saturday morning. I had to get up early, honey, because, um, you know, I saw some, some stuff going on on the internet that, uh, you know, Queen Key was commenting on. So I had to get my girl on the line. What's up, Queen? What's going on? How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. First of all, let me just say this. I love your TikToks. Like this, the TikTok you just, I'm like, what is wrong with you? Like what made you even think of doing that? It's, it's hilarious. The, the precious one? Yes. <laughs> Girl, it's so funny because I was just, uh, I was just laying on the couch and I was thinking of the part when she was like, you're a dummy bitch. You're a dummy bitch. So I ended up looking up the little TikTok, but then I seen that one and I'm like, oh my God, that's funny as fuck. You got to give Monique her flowers, child. That movie is, <laughs> is iconic. No, nah, for real, because she snapped. That shit is hilarious. She did. I'm, I was like, this girl is crazy. But um, I, I wanted to get you on the line because this queen of Chicago rap conversation has started, which I love it. I'm here for it because I think it's great that we having this conversation about Chicago females because I feel like Atlanta and New York, you know, they had a little girls that's rapping, you know, the queen, whatever, but Chicago, we got queens here. So, you know, the conversation was started with Baja Banks. She brought it up in an interview, said she's the queen of Chicago. Of course, your fans were reacting <laughs> to that. that your, your fans was in her comments heavy um, and you even commented. Let me let you me know. know it's crazy. A lot of my fans really ain't even see that shit because they definitely would have. Way crazy. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean that ain't true. What was the question? Just how do you, I mean you? I saw your comment on the post about like, girl, you know, you must not think I'm. Yeah, ain't no bitch. Since, since I came out, it has been no female artist, no female rapper that has surpassed me in Chicago. Not one. I ain't seen one bitch. Since I came out, do what the fuck I did. And that's come out by herself, on her own, do everything, and have all these bitches singing her song. None of them. Okay, okay. So, so with that being said, I mean, if I move, when I move to Cali, go on here. Do, do y'all. But as far as me still living around this motherfucker, you, that ain't valid. You can't say that. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. Queen Key's still here. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. And that's scary. You know, put some motherfucking respect on it. Mm. You gonna have to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm gonna be real with you. I talked to uh, Baja. I did. I just spoke to Baja about it because I was just like, you know, what qualifies you to say you're the queen of Chicago? And to her, she said, because she's from the city, she said, you know, you other girls don't live in the area code. Um, and she's out streaming people. So, I don't know. What are your thoughts? Well, um, as far as living in the city, bitch, who the fuck, when you get some motherfucking money, who the fuck still finna live in Chicago? I mean, that's neither here nor there. I mean, that's cool. You could say that too. But if that's the case, bitch, I don't want to see nobody claiming Kanye. Everybody who doing all that Donda shit, sit the <laughs> fuck down and go home. Because Kanye lives in the birds, bitch. Kanye mama been moved to the birds. Kanye mama lives by my grandma, which is the house that I was living in when I moved to the suburbs. So make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? This song, don't say, say Juice World not from Chicago. Mm. Why is it catty ass bitches who can't rap? Who want to just, you know what I'm saying? That's what's really going on. The girls mad they can't rap. Y'all looking for something? Make it make sense. If y'all trying to make some money, bitch, I'll sell you. I'm something like a pimp. Y'all get some, I'll sell, sell some pussy. Come on. What's up? But as far as trying to, you know, my name is Queen, bro. Don't don't play with me. I don't play with hoes. I don't play like the regular female. I don't do that. I don't, I'm not no catty ass bitch. I don't play like that. I don't do that. That's the reason y'all never seen me get into it with a girl. I don't play like that. <laughs> I don't do that for real. But I'm gonna let hoes be catty because you know that's what girls do. You know, I'm used to bitches like in third grade, sixth grade. You know, that's what it was. You know, motherfuckers just look for something. That's cool, but eventually you know motherfuckers learn they shouldn't do that so um, you, you know you just got you live and you learn especially fucking with the queen <laughs> especially mm. living you learn you know and my I entire brand is queen my name is queen key queen shit bitch you understand me and everybody know that mm. so i mean 
I don't know if bitches mad they didn't think of the idea first. And now they see what time it is. I don't know if bitches team sending them off because I don't want to work with them and I turned them down because I said they Chicago and they're janky and they don't do anything. They don't make any moves. They hold people back. So I don't know if they said, you know, we'll try to get into it with Keith. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know if motherfuckers have sent this little girl off. Mm. I don't know. It's crazy, though. So you definitely think there's there could be more to it, um, th- this whole conversation where she just kind of came out the blue and said she's the queen of Chicago. Because when I spoke yeah, to Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's all kind of little shit going on. You know what I'm saying? We got mutual <laughs> people we know. It's all kind of shit going on. And that's why I'm saying. Motherfuckers know what's going on. So really, all you have to do is say my name. Because now I know what's going on, for real. So it ain't shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I spoke to her, she said it's a, it may be an underlining issue that you, something other, under the rug is what she said. Let me quote her correctly. Under the rug between y'all. I don't know what that is. I don't want to see y'all. Check beat. it out. Well, I ain't had no conversation for, with her. So all that under the rug, I don't even know what the fuck she's talking about. All I know is a motherfucker just saying my name. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know what nobody's talking about. All I know is I'm queen key, queen shit, bitch. Ain't no hoe doing it like me, period. Straight up. Real women respect me. I respect real women. And that's that. I'm the truth. That's all I know. Now, do you think it's room for more than one queen in the city? Because I, I love to no, see y'all chatting. Every women, every women, all women are queens. All yeah. women are queens. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, as far as queen key and the shit she's accomplished as a Chicago rapper, whatever the fuck, Mm-hmm. no female artist after me has surpassed that period and I'm not gonna let nobody take that credit I didn't seen me do the motherfucking impossible and I'm still doing it and ain't nobody gonna take that from me period yeah. you feel me motherfuckers could think it's a game if they want to but this is my life mm-hmm. period and you could take that how you want to take that yeah because what the fuck I don't know how to say it ain't nobody did this shit how I did it I ain't come out with no affiliation and why that bitch is said he's yelling this Chicago shit. I ain't come out claiming no hood, none of that. I came out, dropped the song, everybody was on my dick, and it was that. Mm-hmm. Period. That's how I know everybody I know now. I didn't know none of you niggas five years ago. I know everybody because of me, because of my music, my mouth, me being queen, motherfucking key. Period. And, and you, you, that's the truth, can't nobody really argue that. That's how I look at, you know, myself. Like, I just started doing this. I've been blogging. I've been doing radio. You know what I'm saying? I just, I work for this shit. So it's not, right. you know, so when you, it's different. It hit different when you work for, for it. It wasn't no cosign. You didn't yeah. get lucky. You know what I'm saying? So I understand the passion um, when it comes to that. And again, I'm just and excited. Especially when people who you, you seen them be a fan. You seen them on your dick. You seen <laughs> them try to work with you. You seen them sing your song. And then now because you turn into a rapper, now y'all, you know what I'm saying? I don't play like that. I don't do that. But yeah. one, it don't, I don't even move like that. I don't see no bitch, no woman, whatever you want to say, nobody, period, as competition. That's not even, I don't even believe in competition, period. Like my life, this is my purpose. I'm on some whole, this is some God shit. Like niggas don't even know to have. You feel me? So to even make this a catty situation, it's not that. Yeah. It's not that. And I will, I ain't gonna let nobody make it seem like it's that. Period. Y'all don't know me because of no catty shit. Y'all know me because of God. Straight up. I'm queen for real. And that's that. Period. That <laughs> Motherfuckers don't even got non profit. It's bitches that that then been rich around this bitch, moved out the city, don't even got a non profit. I was broke as hell, young as hell with a whole non profit, giving my last money to motherfuckers. That's why I call myself queen. Mm. You feel me? Because of my heart and how I move. That's why I know I'm queen. Ain't no, like, you can't turn shit. You just can't, you can't fuck with it. <laughs> I respect that. I respect that. And I mentioned that when I spoke to Baja, is that what qualifies you to be the queen of the city? Now, when you say stuff about giving back to the city and really getting it out the mud in the city, those are things that definitely qualify you to wear that crown. So I just wanted to make sure that, you know, <laughs> you got a chance to share your thoughts on it because clearly, you felt you felt something when you saw that and you commented on it. So I'm like, let me hear the queen side of the story. And I got her side of the story too. And at the end of the day, like you said, all women are queens. So it's enough room for everybody out here to shine and enough money for everybody to eat. 
but let's just of respect each is. other's positions in this at the end of the day. Yeah, of course it is. Just don't ever, ever in your life disrespect me thinking it's going to be a good outcome. Don't ever disrespect me thinking you're going to be successful. Yeah. That's all I got to say. Don't ever, don't yeah. ever disrespect me thinking you're going to gain success from me. Period. That's all I got to say. Period. And with that being said, goddamn it, queen shit, bitch. Yeah. Y'all know what time it is. <laughs> queen, when the movie coming? Because I see the movie uh, coming soon. Yeah. I, I'm actually yeah, working on think. more movies. Mm. I had an audition yesterday. I motherfucking, I did so good. Like the um the casting people, they was like crying and shit. Girl, look, I snapped. <laughs> I know, right? Because it's funny. The role that I uh, auditioned for yesterday is different. Like, it's not like um, it's not like a funny character or wild or just somebody that's kind of similar to my fun, easy fact. Mm -hmm. It's like an emotional. Okay. Yeah, as you get in your acting bag, honey. Queen goes to Hollywood, so you know. period. You know, because I really am an actress, though. Seriously. Yeah. Like, I always said I was going to, like, pull an ice cube. Mm -hmm. Like, rap was going to be my introductory. And then I'm going to completely flip, flip the script. Do movies, yeah. star movies, write movies, like, stuff in TV. That's why I'm doing my show with my baby, T Plus 3. Yeah. Like, yes. I really got, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Goals and dreams. And that's why I can't let no, like, catty shit just mm -hmm. get in the way. And I got to dead it the moment it begins because i don't play like that you know what i'm saying i'm not in rapper mode i'm in motherfucking mama bell mode you understand yeah. and that's that i protect my cub and myself mm -hmm. so just don't don't play with me i'm not playing it's a reason why i'm trying to tell people like just don't play with me that's all i gotta say that's right. all i gotta say much love and peace to everybody just don't <laughs> play with queens don't <laughs> <laughs> hey, I feel you on that. I, I feel you. You try to you send that warning out there. Let everybody know. Uh, you know, this ain't that. And listen, I, I don't want it to go that way with either one of y'all. But you know, I'm um the movie thing I'm excited about for you and the babies. Like we love seeing the babies on social media. Uh how is motherhood right now? Because they're like they're growing up, so they like look yeah, girl. Um, now. I'm planning a second birthday party now. Okay. They turn into in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, I love my baby. What's the they so the fun and movie? funny, and they just make me so happy. Like, oh my god. Yes. But speaking of my babies, um, something I gotta say, I must say, mm -hmm. um, to those of you women and men who try to downplay me because I'm a mother, um, that's so not the way, mm -mm. and. Not only are you, you, you really, you just disrespecting life. You know what I'm saying? You doing nothing but, but bringing bad towards yourself. Cause I'm, I'm smart. I know what time it is. Yeah. I know you can never, like me being a mother, that's never me doing the wrong thing, being the wrong thing. None of that shit. That's the greatest thing I've ever done. Period. Yeah. So yeah, anybody who's just trying to downplay the fact that I'm a mom and I'm a rapper and I'm doing whatever I'm doing. You know, you you just not gonna win like that, and that's not the way. And um, and God don't like that. You know, and <laughs> I, I I really I'm glad you touched on that, Queen Key, because when you got pregnant, um, and just like with Cardi B, when we see you bubbling and things like your career is popping off, and then you get pregnant, people be like, ah, oh, like why would she do that? You know, and I just thought it was the most dope, commendable thing that you kept your babies, and then yeah. when you came out with triplets. Like, bitch, I would have lost my mind. You know what I'm saying? But, like, you held it down like a G. You know what I'm saying? All the drama that was going on with dude, you you, you didn't pay much attention to that after you addressed it. Mm. You went ahead, you took care of your babies, and then you documented it so people can see you developing mm. as a mother and taking on that responsibility. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's really just, like, with people not knowing what life about. These hoes don't know what life about. Like I said. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some people just really think it's about just the cute shit, being famous or some fucking money or, you know, being cool. I'm so beyond that. I never cared about that. That's what always set me aside, period. I'm me. And yeah. I don't give a fuck what nobody thinks. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I never change 
how I'm moving because the next motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the real respect it. I mean, that you just took me back. I mean, you, you kind of shocked me with the name. I don't know her, but, and, and I'm, I'm, you know, whatever y'all situation was, but I feel like you showing your, your motherhood side, you hanging in there with your babies and doing what you got to do really speaks more to young women than even anything you could say in the music because so many young girls have that same, you know, thing happen to them. They get pregnant. We get pregnant. Yeah, you wouldn't believe pregnant. my DMs. That's how I know I'm doing the right thing. You know yes. what I'm saying? And just yes. I'm on my my right path. I'm fulfilling my life purpose, all that, because yeah. that's what it's really about. You know, all the DMs I got were just, it's just so many different mothers, them telling me I inspired them to keep their child. I inspired yeah. them to, to see that it's possible. Mm -hmm. Like I give them hope every day. Mm -hmm. You know, like that's yeah. really what it's about, because it's some real shit. You know what I'm saying? Like creating life giving birth that's some real shit like that's the realest thing anybody could ever do you yeah. know what i'm saying so yeah it's just it's, it's just all a matter of people having respect you know what i'm saying and and if you you don't have respect i don't know maybe you learn you're gonna learn to have respect yeah. you feel me and that's just that's just law that's universal law shit yeah <laughs> A lot of shit ain't even up to me, um, bro. <laughs> you just gotta look. You just gotta do what God called you to do, honey. And He He blessed you with them babies. And I and I trust me. And when I tell you, you are inspiring young women across the world that they their life does not stop because they had a baby or two or three. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like it don't stop. <laughs> You, you, still, you still get out here and chase this bag. You chase them dreams. And you still rapping crazy. We saw you in a cypher. How was that experience uh, you know, holding down for the big jam cypher? The first one, too. Yeah, um, it was lit, period. Shout out to Johnny. It was yeah. lit. Um, I had a good time. Um, the whole thing, performing at the big jam, all of that. I'm always super appreciative. Mm -hmm. It'd be like very crazy, surreal moments a little bit because it's like, it's one thing to say you're going to do all these things and just, you know, don't nobody believe in you and shit. Mm -hmm. But to see it actually come true and you knew and you know that you're going to do it, it's like, that's what's up. Like, damn, like, is this real life? Is these niggas real? <laughs> <laughs> No, that's so that's that's real because I'm from Chicago. So as a little kid, I used to listen to WGCI and I used to like pop my shit in high school. Like I'm gonna be on the radio. And then when I really be backstage interviewing you at Big Jim, I'm like, damn, is this real? Like, am I really doing right. what I said I was gonna do? <laughs> but you know, look, God, God exactly. be blessing us. So <laughs> exactly. It, it is exactly. what it is. But you know, let people know what's next for Queen. I know we got the acting thing out the way. What's going on with the music? Um I'm gonna give y'all, so like I said, I, I do plan on doing like an ice cube, you know what I'm saying? Like a real transition. Cause I really do like acting. I like writing, I like directing, I like creating stories and I like seeing them, you know what I'm saying? So um, a lot of acting to be honest, but for my music, I am gonna give y'all some real shit, so. A lot of people be saying, you know, with the female rappers right now, it's just pussy, 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 pussy. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. I get why they saying that. You know what I'm saying? To be honest, when I first came out and I was rapping about my pussy and stuff, it wasn't that much um, nigga give me head. It wasn't that much. It wasn't. Mm -hmm. Bitches really wasn't saying that like that. Mm -hmm. When I first came out, bitches was more so, I might, I suck his dick. <laughs> Told his gun. <laughs> woo -woo. Right. I came out, nah, nigga, give me head. I'm up, roll my blunt. I'm woo. <laughs> Bitches want to know that. That's why motherfuckers was what? Who is this? <laughs> so it's like I understand why people saying that. So that that took time. So mm -hmm. I appreciate that the women are now giving us the upper in the song. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank y'all for not saying you let suck the nigga dick then whatever happened. Thank you. <laughs> But thanks for the pussy raps. I love it. Oh, Thank y'all. Yeah. That's a great thing. <laughs> but I plan on giving a little more. Oh, there goes somebody. I plan on giving um a little more like insightful music. Like if you seen, I mean, if you heard my song, like I like me better, mm -hmm. um, can't take it, 
So, like, I got these certain records where it's like, if you listen to them bitches, something gonna spark. And if you gonna feel like some godly, like, soul shit, like, oh, shit, it's still real people out here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, them songs where it's like, you really feel it, like, oh, shit, like, she just said something that spoke to me. So, I just wanna, I wanna give a little more music that's gonna speak to people Mm -hmm. beyond, um, just like playing a nigga I or tricking a nigga or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Because it is like real shit that we are going through as people, yeah. as women, all of that. And I definitely can be the spokesperson because I I didn't been through a lot of shit. I go through a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like part of the reason why I even go through it is so I could write it. Write it. You know? Because yeah. I mean, I want to give y'all some real shit. Yeah, if we just go down your Twitter feed, it's so much going on on your Twitter. Like it's you cut one minute you cussing a nigga out, and one minute you like him. Then you got the you talking about the baby. So like, if you could just make some music according to your Twitter feed, <laughs> we'll all be my insane. Twitter starts so much shit. Yes, I need so to look funny. up what the origin of the word Twitter means. Uh-huh. Cause we gotta be a deeper meaning to this. Like seriously, I mean, my whole fucking career it started on fucking Twitter with me posting my uh freestyles. Every time I talk to somebody, they talk about my Twitter. Yes, it's like, can y'all hear my voice when y'all read my tweets? Literally, literally, be reading your tweets in your voice. I be dying like she is so crazy. <laughs> and it's so yeah. crazy because I call myself toning it down. <laughs> no, I call. No. Look, don't calm me down. We we won't we won't the we Well, I'm gonna turn it back up, girl, because I called myself toning it down. I thought I've been toned it down for about the past year. Oh, where wow. everybody keeps telling me I'm crazy. It's like, damn, I might as well go full throttle. Please do. Please, I'm here for it all. Okay. I'm the friend that encouraged you to do all the crazy shit, okay? <laughs> no, but. but but I'm the friend where it's like, oh shit, bitch. No, we should be at that. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh my God. Well, Queen King, I appreciate you, man, uh, getting up with me, especially about this topic, just so we keep the conversation going about rap females in Chicago. Y'all deserve all the shine. Y'all deserve all the light because I feel like y'all the realest, period. So, um, yeah. and that's all the girls that I'm talking about. So, yeah. we, you know, I appreciate you. Whenever you want to come, my door is always open for you. Um, I do got a uh I do got an honorable mention real quick with the uh-oh. girls that I did notice who can rap. Okay, come if, on. If anybody want to know who Queen Key thinks can rap from Chicago, yes. This is who the Chicago rap queens should be saying they are, right? It should be <laughs> me, you know, Shauna, the Brat, Dreezy, Nia K, mm-hmm. Sasha Go Hard. Mm-hmm. We can rap. I didn't heard them rap, and I'm like, oh, they collab, you yeah. know. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I'm forgetting somebody who could rap. If I am, please excuse me. Um, Chella, uh, um, you know, who else you gotta mention? Um, it's a few others I feel like, but okay, that's your list. <laughs> yep. So that's who I think the Chicago rap queens is, or whatever. That's who I think. You know what I'm saying? And that's if you lived in the 708. The seven seven three, the three one two, the six three zero. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's you know that's all Chicago land area. Whether if your mama was able to say, you know what, let me grind and let my kids move and go to the good community, the good school, because a lot of that's what a lot that's what happened to a lot of us when we were younger. Our mama ran that stack up and said, all oh, my kids going to a good school. You see what I mean? So for one, shout out to the mamas who moving like that. Because yeah. for one thing, my motherfucking kids for sure ain't finna be talking about no uh 773. No, ain't ain't none of that. My hey, my mama had us in a bird. Straight that's up. Thing. That's how she did it. Yeah. But you talking about that's that's what my kids gonna say. Yeah, we was in a mansion all our life. Come on. Now, unfortunately, I can't say that because I did have a little rocky <laughs> a little growing up. <laughs> but my mama did take us to the suburbs. So I appreciate that because that made me very versatile. It made me be able to be here, be there, be everywhere, and still, you know, be all thin, be myself. So yeah, period. 
And when you, whatever city you in, you are, you from Chicago, baby. It's, it's in you. It ain't <laughs> on you. So that's, that's it. That's and uh, newsflash, we don't own this shit. Um, the shit kind of ruined a lot of people's life, so maybe we should kind of. There you go. <laughs> maybe you motherfuckers go. should uh move. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's all it means a hand all that. It's all love, you know what I'm saying? End of the day, I'm focused on what I'm focused on, being the best mother possible, and um, that's that. I wish the best for everybody. Shit, just don't fuck with me. Cause you're gonna get the worst. There you go. The young, the fast is. Yeah. It is what it is. Need I say any more, man? Queen, we love you always. Thank Period. you for checking in with the show. Period. Thank you.